हेलो सो इट इज ऑलरेडी वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू रिससिटेट अ पेशेंट इन कार्डिया अरेस्ट इट नीड्स नॉलेज स्किल प्रिसीजन एंड स्पीड देन ओनली वी गेट अ गुड आउटकम एंड इट इज इवन मोर डिफिकल्ट वेन द पॉपुलेशन इज अ स्पेशल पॉपुलेशन लाइक प्रेगनेंट लेडी इन प्रेगनेंट लेडी एज इट इज दे आर अ यंग पॉपुलेशन विद नो को मॉर्बिडिटी बट इफ दे लैंड अप इन कार्डिया करेस्ट इट इज वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू रिससिटेट दैम सक्सेसफुली एंड इट इज वेरी आई मीन दे हैव अ वेरी हाई मोटैलिटी सो लेट इज डिस्कस वॉट आर द इम्पॉर्टेंट इंटरवेंशन स्पेशल इंटरवेंशन अपार्ट फ्रॉम रूटीन कार्डिया करेस्ट मैनेजमेंट वी डू इन दिस स्पेशल पॉपुलेशन दैट इज द प्रेगनेंट लेडी ओके सो कार्डिया अरेस्ट इन प्रेगनेंट लेडी रिमेंबर बिफोर आई टेल यू द स्टेप्स द प्रिकॉशंस एंड एवरीथिंग द बेस्ट आउटकम ऑफ रिससिटेशन इन प्रेगनेंट वुमेन इज इफ यू आर टारगेटिंग द मदर नाउ वॉट आर द इम्पॉर्टेंट कॉजेस दैट समन लैंड अप इन द प्रेगनेंट लेडी लैंड अप इन कार्डिया अरेस्ट सी लॉट ऑफ कॉजेस आर अक्यूट कॉज लाइक uh more than 28 weeks pregnant lady had a fall or a trauma and a huge blood loss and she landed up in cardiac arrest or had a cardiac tamponade and she landed up in cardiac arrest and <coughs> that is acute or it could be ongoing problem that she is suffering from preeclampsia and she is on high dose of magnesium and hypermagnesemia landed up her in cardiac arrest or she was being given anesthesia for let's say a uh, caesarean section and complication some complication and she landed up in cardiac arrest or in during normal delivery amniotic fluid embolism and this resulted in cardiac arrest so there are multiple etiologies etiology to understand why a lady has landed up in cardiac arrest is very important you know even in normal cardiac arrest if we know the etiology we treat the reason why the person has landed up in cardiac arrest outcome is always good and it is even better in a pregnant lady so always in our mind we'll try to find the cause why she has landed up in cardiac arrest immediately the obstetric team of maternal resuscitation team should start preparing for perimortem cesarean delivery perimortem cesarean delivery you know i will tell you in a while then this is the flow chart of american heart association management of cardiac arrest in a pregnant lady apart from routine thing that is we start with uh, chest compression the bls and the acls intervention the apart from those routine thing immediately we have to uh, we have to call the maternal resuscitation team assemble the maternal resuscitation team we have in our mind we should try to find the etiology in maternal intervention the pe- pregnant ladies they are known for being patients with a difficult airway they are known to be patient with uh, let's say uh, high risk for aspiration so airway management securing the airway is priority in them then in pregnant lady always we have to administer 100% oxygen see then the iv line which we need to secure we have to see it should be above diaphragm right so iv line should always be above diaphragm special obstetric intervention during resuscitation well when you are doing chest compression in a pregnant lady there should be a continuous lateral displacement displacement of the uterus by a separate person this gravid uterus if the pregnancy is above 20 weeks or if the you can feel the fundal fundal height at the level of umbilicus this uterus would have would create a pressure on aorta and inferior vena cava and venous return will decrease and cardiac output will decrease so when you are doing chest compression that would not be fruitful to maintain the perfusion so one person would do a manual displacement of the uterus and relieve the pressure of the gravid uterus right from uh, on on your great vessels right then the second maternal in obstetric intervention is that during your resuscitation fetal monitor should be immediately removed then immediately at the start of the cardiac arrest only at the beginning of the cardiac arrest only we have to get start getting prepared for perimortem cesarean delivery right then we continue with high quality chest compression and all right perform a five uh, perimortem cesarean delivery if rvs is not 
achieved within five minutes and hand over the fetus to the neonatal team for further management and continue with maternal resuscitation. So this is the flow chart for managing a, a cardiac arrest in a pregnant lady. Now little bit few <laughs> intervention I want to discuss with you separately. You can see this is left lateral uterine displacement with one hand or with two hands. The uterus should be manually displaced to the left side. This would relieve the pressure of the gravid uterus from the great vessels and improve the cardiac output of the patient. Lateral tilt should not be of the bed should not be done. The bed should always be flat when you are doing the resuscitation. So manual displacement is always better to uh, keeping the patient in supine with one person continuously doing the manual rep replacement or uh, displacement of the uterus. Okay, then as I told you, the IV line should be above the diaphragm. Then <coughs> airway, very important to secure the airway as quickly as possible. What are the special precautions which we have to take? Always try to put a cuffed endotracheal tube. Always anticipate that airway can be difficult and keep all the airway equipments ready. Always ask the best person, the most experienced person there to intervene in the airway. Right, the best chance of intubation would be with the best person. So, in this, these patients, always the best person should try. You try to use a smaller size tube because it would be easy to put like 6 mm or 6 uh, mm internal diameter or 7 mm internal diameter tube. Attempt maximum to attempt of laryngoscopy. If we fail, we have to go for supraglottic airway device. If airway we are unable to secure, and even bag and mask ventilation we are unable to do, then management is, along, is according to the difficult airway management. That cannot intubate, cannot ventilate, we have to do a cricothyrodotomy Im immediately. But if I am able to secure the airway, always confirm the airway by continuous capnography. Continuous capnography. If you have secured the airway, confirm you are ventilating. Always the ventilation volume should be low. Ventilation volume should be low and uh, we should never over ventilate the patient and if i am ventilating by bag and mask then two hand technique is better because one hand technique would not give a good seal so bag and mask always should be done with two hand technique so these are the precautions which we have to take in these patient right when we are securing the airway chest compression in these patient is done as a routine chest compression lower one third of sternum but since the diaphragm is pushed above by the, uh, the gravid uterus, little above the lower one third of the uh, sternum, you can move your hand. Same energy level, right? Same. See, even chest compression, little above you can move your hand, but the rate, ratio, depth, everything same. So you compress at the rate of 100 to 120 compression per minute. Depth at least 5 cm, allow a complete recoil, 30 compression to ventilation ratio you have to follow if you have not secured the airway and if you have secured the airway. In anterolateral placement, when we place one of the pad on the below the left clavicle and other pad in left axilla, the axilla pad, the lateral pad should be placed below the breast tissue, it should not be placed on the breast tissues. The breast of the pregnant lady is enlarged. So they may interfere. So just displace the breast and put the pad below it. Below it, you need a good con contact, skin contact with the pads. Okay. Then, <coughs> as I told, energy level should be same as in any adult. 200 joules asynchronous shock. The doses are same as in any adult population. Same. Okay. Fetal assessment during resuscitation should never be attempted. It should be done once the resuscitation is successful. Right? Now we are going this, we are doing this and we are not able to achieve ROSC, return of spontaneous circulation within 5 minutes. Then we have to go for perimortem caesarean delivery. American Heart Association tell us about two things about perimortem caesarean delivery. When to attempt it, how much time interval should be during uh, starting the resuscitation and attempting perimortem caesarean delivery. See what they say that if you are resuscitating and unable to do a successful resuscitation within five minutes, go for perimortem caesarean delivery. And if you got a patient who have a 
let's say a prolonged pulselessness or maternal trauma and you know that resuscitation is kind of futile in them there is no use of waiting go for perimortem serum delivery immediately and then start resuscitation then the chances would be better to if at all if there is a chance to resuscitate them and accomplish the perimortem serum delivery as early as possible that is within 5 minutes right at least within 5 minutes of the arrest okay so <clears throat> immediately once the patient has gone into cardiac arrest a pregnant lady start preparing for perimortem serum delivery then only within 5 minutes if it is not successful we can go do a perimortem serum delivery okay okay so this is the special interventions which we have to do in a patient in cardiac arrest a pregnant lady in cardiac arrest so let me revise it very quickly for you all the steps with a patient scenario let us assume you were taking rounds in icu and there was a critically ill pregnant lady 28 week 28 weeks pregnant she was diagnosed with preeclampsia and was on magnesium had a episode of eclampsia etc also i had a episode of seizure let's say two days back and she was on high dose of magnesium and when you were examining her she consciousness was little deranged blood pressure was on the lower side right her reflexes were not there so immediately you have to decrease the dose of magnesium you have to get a serum magnesium level and manage it you are trying that meanwhile she goes into cardiac arrest you're trying to prevent from her going in cardiac arrest but she goes into cardiac arrest so you start the resuscitation immediately you call a person ask the person to go for a continuous manual displacement of the gravid uterus into left lateral position left lateral left lateral displacement of the uh, uterus as the image we saw it and you start the chest compression at the rate 100 to 120 compression per minute on lower one third of the sternum at a ratio 30 compression to ventilation by bag and mask <coughs> you ask you immediately call the manual the maternal resuscitation team you call an anesthesiologist you call an intensivist obstetrician immediately you call a neonatologist immediately and a lot of people have come so one people is one person is on airway the person who is on airway and <coughs> he knows the lady is a pregnant lady would try to put the airway device as quickly as possible so maybe endotracheal cuff endotracheal tube will be secured the person who is doing chest compression will continue doing chest compression one person will be on iv line would see that ensure that iv line is above diaphragm and one person is on the defibrillator right that if it is a shockable rhythm will give the shock and obstetric team is has started preparing for perimortem cesarean delivery so all the intervention has been i mean has been started so we go on doing compression ventilation and if required defibrillation for next 5 minutes if we are unable to achieve a ros right return of spontaneous circulation immediately we go for perimortem cesarean delivery and then again continue with resuscitation handing over the fetus to the neonatal team okay when we continue with resuscitation meanwhile i knew the etiology in this lady was most probably magnesium toxicity so i asked the person who is on iv to give him a, uh, give her a calcium chloride right and send a serum blood immediately for abg and other investigations so that we try to find out any other causes there for her landing up in this situation right and we we'll give our best to resuscitate this lady okay so this is how we manage a pregnant lady in cardiac arrest i hope lot of your queries has been cleared and lot of things has become more clear in managing a pregnant lady in cardiac arrest thank you